these concrete walls, these city lights. What I'm about to say, it won't make no sense, but I gotta get it off my chest. And I'd like Madison Goins to please come up. And I'm like, what's happening? So I'm like, where are they calling my name? And then I found out, and I was just so filled with joy. <laughs> Mason Long. Mason, will you come up here? Where's Mason? So I'm not paying attention at all. And then he's like, Mason Long, will you come up here? I'm like, okay. <laughs> and if you think that you wrote this essay, then you can stand up. I was kind of nervous and I was excited at the same time. He gets a check for $100. I've lived here all my life, but you don't have to live here all your life to love your hometown. And uh, I have a check here for $50 for Kylie Robinson. I felt really excited and I was really happy that my mom was there because my sister had won too, and so I felt really happy and I felt like she would be really proud of me. The seventh winner from this school is Kylie. I was completely surprised because I had no idea that I was even enter. Congratulations to your friend and schoolmate, Thomas Mean. Yeah, I thought that I definitely got something good, just more than a first or a second. And my thoughts didn't deceive me. My name is Mason Long and I live in Provo, Utah. Provo is a wonderful community. I've absolutely loved living here. I've lived here for over three years. I've participated in many community activities. There are countless reasons why I like it. One of the reasons that I appreciate the community of Provo is that there are so many places to hike to. First, there's the hike to the Y on the mountain. It, it is very hard, but that is one of the things I love about it. You can see like all of Provo and some of more. I like the feeling of accomplishment. The view is very marvelous. Another hike is the hike to Bridal Veil Falls. The waterfall is so beautiful. When you are there, you get to feed the fish in the water. It is extremely fun. Another reason I respect my community is that we have a rec center. There you can play basketball. They have two courts with a lot of hoops in each. So like some people could just be doing one court, but then another person can go in a different hoop. You can go swimming, go down the slides. It's very fun to play sports in my community. Playing sports can make me healthy and strong. Yet another thing in my community is the Provo City Library. They do a lot of fun activities, like they do reading challenges, and then if you do it, you get a prize. I personally think that Provo is one of the finest places to live. I love my community. My name is Madison Goins, and I am from South Jordan. Do you know what to do in your community? Well, I live in South Jordan, and there is a lot of fun things to do, especially in the spring and the summer. South Jordan offers free outdoor movies in the park for families, friends, and neighbors. We like to bring blankets, and we like to bring popcorn and a cold drink. Next. South Jordan Parkway is a great trail to get some exercise on. I enjoy walking and riding my bike with my grandma. You can see ducks and otters and all of that amazing stuff. It's thrilling to see the water sparkle in the sun with a shimmery glow. And it's just fun to get away and kind of go into the nature. Last but not least, the Easter egg hunt. Easter egg hunts is very fun. You can find money in it. That's probably the best part about it. But you have to be there very, like at a very sharp time or else you miss everything and it's not very fun. I feel that South Jordan City is the best place and community to live and spend my time in. I'm Kaiden Suffolk from Perry City, Utah. There's a lot of beautiful 
things here. There's tall trees and it's very shady. And you can just smell the peach blossoms. <laughs> the parks are very fun to play at and play sports at. Perry City has lots of clean air because of all the trees and lots of places to enjoy nature and there are awesome trails to hike. In Perry City, they have so many good places to eat. The favorite place of all time is Maddox Ranch House. They give you rolls while you wait for your order. My favorite thing to order there is the chicken strips. Perry is such a great place to live because of all the nice people. Once you come here, you will never want to leave. I love it here. I'm Kylie Robinson and I go to Red Hills Middle School. My house is closer to the Red Bluffs and it's really gorgeous over there, but on the other side, you have kind of like the little green hills and then on the south side, kind of east, you have the, like the mountains where it's snow and it's really gorgeous. And this is the Severe River. It kind of goes from soft from Richfield to kind of rapids. I like to go hiking a lot with my family. One of the things I used to do was I used to go hiking on the mountains and we used to kind of like take pictures of like the town up above and every now and then we'll go hike the R to the top. Once you get to Richfield, it's kind of, it looks pretty, but if you really get a view of it from up above, it's just breathtaking, it's really gorgeous. Richfield offers the commodities of the big city while still maintaining that small town feel. It's a place where neighbors know each other's names, teachers attend their students' extra circular activities, and where some contracts are still made on the old fashioned way on a handshake. They're really kind and nice here, which is something that has really captured me, and I don't think that I would be able to leave not being able to cry. <laughs> My name is Kylie Ronan and I live in Centerfield, Utah. As you're driving down, there's just one road, a couple trees maybe, like one or two houses by the side of the road. And you'll come upon a big gray building and it will say Smith's or Smitty's. There's just like a big field with lots of cows usually. We're just so small, it seems like nobody knows where we are. The perfect morning. Bright blue sky, golden fields of wheat and grain. Mornings like these, I remember why this is my favorite place. The place where I feel safe, the place where I feel loved, the place I call home. I like how close everybody is. Like just barely, if you go up to somebody and say hi, and then you find out their last name, you're like, oh, I know your uncle, your aunt, your cousin. Warm hugs of close family cold ice cream from the hometown diner. These are what my best memories of South Sanpete County are all about. Going our separate ways to start the day, but ending up where we always do. We all had a little more work, a little more freedom, a little more lessons learned, and a little more memorable moments. I'm Tommy Lane and I live in Salt Lake City. My neighborhood is near 9th and 9th. From my house, I can walk or bike to Gelati Gelato for a treat. I can also go to Cafe Espresso for an Italian soda or hot chocolate. I even have a special drink named after me. It's called the Tomatizer. Make it three Tomatizers. Make it three Tomatizers for Tommy. <laughs> the trees in my neighborhood are unique because we had a scientist who lived here who crossbreeded a tree and so we have one of a kind tree in our neighborhood. This is where a man named Yogg lived and he passed away on his 70th birthday. Our family and their neighborhood pitched in to get a new air conditioner and he invited us to his house when he had nothing to give. I enjoyed taking a stroll at night with my parents. We call them nighttime walks. We, when, we, when we just walk, we just look around because there's always something new. It's just like I lose, I, I forget about my work. It's, I'm just free.
one of the main duties of a city is to have a place to come from and a place to go home to.